um, Tony Serenzo said, strength comes from struggle. When you learn to see your struggles as opportunities to become stronger, better, wiser, then your thinking shifts from, I can't do this, to, I must do this. We must liberate our country as Ugandans. Friends, I welcome you once again on another episode of the Weekly Diaspora Report. My name is Michael Kakande, uh, also known as Kapalaga Baby. With me here is the big man, the Diaspora Coordinator, Team Leader, Haman Ainebiona. Say hi to the people, comrade. Hello, comrade Kapalaga. You're the people, eh? Yeah. You're one of I the people. I <laughs> represent <laughs> um, yeah. Hello, people in the diaspora and all over Uganda and lovers of Uganda, mostly Ugandans. Mm. Uh, this is a Ugandan struggle, mostly. Um, and so I greet you all in the name of uh, Uganda and a better country. Mm -hmm. So take us through what has happened this week. The most prevalent, the most profound... Um, recent one the most recent mm. and vibrant uh, memory that i have right now is from this morning mm. uh, it's morning in uh, it was morning in boston but it was midnight in australia and mm. you know it's crazy uh, in japan different time zones um mm. south africa different time zones but this morning we had an engagement with uh, with the incoming president, the mm. democratically elected president, mm. first democratic, the first elected. one at that, hey, hey. Mm. that one. He was um, uh, comrade honorable president Chagulani Sentamu Bobby Wine was addressing the diasporians. He was addressing us, mm. uh, the people that I represent, um, and he talked about about a few things, and that was more successful than we attempted this before some people might mm. not be aware mm. we've attempted it and it wasn't live the capacity of the meeting was limited to 300 people mm. today the our zoom meeting was 790 people packed okay um, but of course people streaming from facebook and youtube on facebook there was like 3000 people viewing mm. and, you know more on youtube i I couldn't keep track of the numbers, mm -hmm. uh, but it was really successful. It lifted my spirit. I was proud of the people who presented. Um, comrade Peter Ekakoro in the UK, he's our policy guy in UK. Um, comrade uh, Doreen Kajumba, one of the biggest mobilizers in Canada, and she also mobilizes on ground. She's from Fort Porto. Okay. Uh, so yeah, she was uh, she was called and she showed up and made it and made it look very colorful and of course madame grace chiboneka in seattle who was, who was the, the, the moderator. moderator yeah okay what are the takeaways in the in the address i think he he, he highlighted three things um <clears throat> he he went he he spoke about what we must do to win and also he spoke about the things that we will lose if we you know the things we stand to lose if we don't win Mm. Okay, and um, you know, I I I I like <laughs> I like solutions, <laughs> so I run always to what to to, to the solution. So mm. he highlighted what we must do to win, and um, he he highlighted the importance of our active participation because we in the diaspora have the freedom mm. to put on our beret. You have the freedom to put on that vest. We have the freedom to talk. Uh, you know, we have access to free internet, which is not the case in Uganda. We have access to, you know, finance. We do have jobs. Mm -hmm. Most of us are employed, even though the jobs are not necessarily what, you know, what we would want to be doing or, mm -hmm. you know, whatever. Mm -hmm. But we at least or we have that we opportunity. Oh, we, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, um, yeah, so he highlighted what we must do to win. And he, he told us, he encouraged us to be where we are and use that wherever we are, whether you are in a living, whether you're babysitting, whether you are, you know, a security guard, whether you are just a where, lawyer, a lawyer, engineer, a nurse, mm. a radio presenter, mm. uh, do use that talent. And I, you know, I appreciate all the people who have 
stood up to the occasion and not uh, let the struggle. Yeah, I, I, I got one when he said um, and encouraged the people in the diaspora to keep the, the funds going because mm. uh, this this is something that uh, needs a lot of money, you know, mm. to put up a campaign against the dictatorship or the government that has been in power holding all our resources for 35 years if you're fighting it you 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 have to have a lot of money so basically we are looking for 1.7 trillion mm. for the campaign mm. so he encouraged the diasporians to keep the monies going and um i would at that note request you to read that that number that he read again oh <laughs> um for 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 uganda if you would like to donate mm. Uh, the phone number is plus two five six zero seven zero three six three six three six three again that number gets issues sometimes here and there which are in the process of being fixed uh but don't try once but it's in the names of daniel it is in that exactly it is in the names of daniel or your rot i wrote yeah and you know if you if you try to send funds once, don't you know? Don't give up. You don't try once. Yeah. Uh, try at least five times. Now mm. five times. If not, you fail today, uh, tomorrow. Do that tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. Because we basically need need the funds. Right. Right. Yeah. And then the the diaspora number. The diaspora number to reach out to um, is plus one eight five seven seven one nine four four five one. That's for North America. North America, we use Cash App. It's our mobile money. If you'd like to donate something and you you know um you can send send some funds to that number and we'll acknowledge those funds mm. uh, you can also use that number to text uh to send a whatsapp message to find out who your chapter leader is mm. so again the number to send that message to is plus one eight five seven seven one nine four four five one okay do we have some new chapters yeah um we do have amsterdam um, mm -hmm. Comrade Susan Navuti uh, and I think Nava I knew they just went through orientation they know what to do they are focused uh, they are helping with some tech uh, IT things mm -hmm. um, very resourceful people we also have Switzerland uh, Mr. Baker Mus Musanji is you know he's, he's there he very humble guy very peaceful but a pusher uh, in Kenya, are you surprised? We have one in Kenya. We are closing in. <laughs> <laughs> I we know. are closing in. <laughs> okay. Kenya, we are there. Uh, Comrade Alex um, Chivi, he is a uh, he is an uh, he is an activist. Uh, most okay. of his most of his stuff is on the streets, being there for protests, raising his voice, um, and he's a big mobilizer. Okay. Uh, the team has already grown to. <laughs> I don't want to mention the numbers because we know, you know, we have many Ugandans who study in Uganda, but work in Kenya. Oh, okay. Because because uh, there are be better opportunities there. Mm. Um, I went to engineering school in Makere, and um, most most of my classmates ended up working for like Kenya Telecom, like Safaricom, and all those telecom wow. companies. Um, and even our electric and most of them were in government sponsorship many of my classmates <laughs> were on government scholarship sponsorship and guess what now they pay taxes to the kenyan, to kenyan government, government. <laughs> it's sad so but sad. um yeah so we have a big Ken a big ugandan presence in kenya okay. uh, we have spotted you know a price range for cards in kenya mm. and that is about to be set and announced and you'll see the flyers going on okay um yeah That's and it. germany Germany, we are there now, Comrade Afro Berliner, he is in Berlin, German, okay. but also if you're in Munich, anywhere, a good thing with Europe is that it's very connected and it's very small. Mm. So very soon, you know, if you're in France, for instance, you can reach out to our comrade in Switzerland. Okay. Uh, you can reach out to Comrade Musange in Switzerland. So, yeah, that's... Pennsylvania. Are... Pennsylvania, mm. Comrade... Uh, she gave the closing prayer today. Oh. Yeah. yeah, she was happy. Very happy. She <laughs> called me and she was, oh my God, I gave the prayer. <laughs> Comrade Tina Brown, very energizing. It's impressive to see someone, um, not Ugandan, but yeah. be more Ugandan. 
be more active than any Ugandan or, yeah. or than other Ugandans, than actually most, most Ugandans. You see, I think what has kept us in captivity for so long is the apathy, the little interest in these issues. People, mm-hmm. you know, you talk about these things and but, people are like, like eh. Because that's, that's what they fed, they, they fed them for 35 years. I mean, right. they, they, think, they think they are not what? Right. Yeah. I think it's also I think it's also scary for 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 people, right? Yeah, of course. I mean the first thing that Museveni does once you know, once anyone raises their voice is frustrate them. So we if you you know, if you buy your car, if you buy your twenty million shilling car, mm. like a haha my mm. car, you know, <laughs> if you yeah. build your ten million house, yeah. you're like a ha my, my house, house, my business mm. And you forget that, you know, your children can't drive the same car that you're driving. Your children can't live in the same house that you yeah. live in. So those, you know, it's, it's that discouragement. We are not mo- uh, motivated enough. Um, many Ugandans are not motivated enough, but I thank God for Chagulani. Three years, two million people on the electoral commission list. You, you know those statistics. Yeah, so. um, finally. I've 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 read I've seen a lot uh, some of the bloggers complain mm. and uh, blogging about the the nope cards prices. Mm. I don't know whether they think they should be one thousand in the UK in the US. Mm. I guess that's what they they are trying to show. Mm. Um, how do you address that? How do you come up with the prices, the different prices from different um, countries? Yes, um, maybe some people are not aware, but noob cards in the diaspora um, are not at 1,000 shillings. First of all, they can't be at 1,000. <laughs> because I mean, 1,000 shillings is, is not is, a penny. It's not a penny. Not, is, is it? Oh, it's a penny. It's 50 it, pennies. Is it? Yeah, it's 50. You know, a quarter. Mm. A quarter is 25 mm. cents, mm. right? So it is around 50 cents. 1,000 shillings is 50 cents. So, so it is honestly not. And I think, you know, the central team, our central team, the People Power and NUP central team, um, made a wise decision, the finance, uh, the people in charge of finance. Uh, Comrade Aisha Kabanda is one of those people and, you know, um, the team around there. Um, they made a wise decision to set a low price because they know that our people don't have jobs. Mm. Our people have been stuck in COVID and all that. And I think it is a mobilization tool. You know, mm. our movement mm. is about three things. Mm. Mobilization, organization, and sensitization. So it's a, it was a mobilization tool. Uh, people were mobilized that way. But for us in the diaspora, um, since, first of all, we felt so much pressure that we had to change location you know when allow me speak luganda akazito mm. <laughs> you know when it's too much mm. you know too when much you weight feel the heat. yeah you you are allowed to you know we to a point where you have to go to a different country to basically avail yourself better opportunities so we think that we might be more willing to fundraise, to fundraise more yeah. to give more to you because know, we could be having better to, opportunities. To the cause. Exactly. Yeah. And we, we, most of the people, we can afford them. We can afford these things. These prices are not set by people outside mm. the countries where they live. Mm. So in the US, for instance, these prices were set by the eight or ten now different teams in the US. DC, Seattle, uh, California, Texas, Florida. Boston. Minnesota, Boston. Chicago, Boston, you know, mm. so all those teams came together. We have weekly meetings. All those teams came together and said, we can't sell a card less than $50. It's only reasonable, mm. right? Mm. In the US, the, uh, sorry, in the UK, the UK team sat and they said 30, 30 pounds is a fair amount, right? The UAE? In, because I guess that's where some problems were. Yeah, in the UAE has some so controversies. I think it's five BD something. No, no that's Bahrain. That's Bahrain. Okay. Do you know? I I learned something. Do you know that one Bahrain BD is ten thousand shillings? Yeah. It's great. I was impressed. Yeah. That currency is a heavy one. But anyway. It's not impressive. Why not? It's sad. 
for Uganda. Right? Yeah, it's yeah. sad in that sense. Yeah, but it was it was surprising. I thought there were you know there are very many anyway strong currencies. But besides the point, uh, besides that, sorry, um, in UAE it's twenty five dirhams. Um, 25 dirhams and but uh, someone can always buy higher of course yeah. of course i mean here people have been buying cards for 100 Three, even 300 in 300 dollars a lady in california bought her card 1000 dollars so it is you know people are more you know they're saying why don't i do this mm. um of course there are challenges and um you know i i wouldn't want a you asked about bloggers. Mm. Sometimes they are not; they don't have enough information. Right? Mm. Mm. They, these are people. I don't want to say who speak for the movement because they actually do not. They give personal opinions, mm. right? Mm. Um, someone, you know, sits in their room and you know makes a video and talks about the key issues. Some of these people represent our views, mm. right? Mm. Many of them do. Uh, but I, I, I beg that they reach out to that number, the 857-719-4451 plus 1-857-719-4451 number, to get the accurate information regarding especially the diaspora, mm -hmm. um, you know, to find out why are you doing this like this, why is this happening like this, why isn't there any activity? Is this in... chapter legit? Right. If they want to verify those yeah. things, uh, before they go and speak about them, um, in public, because that gives our opponents an opportunity to attack us, and for us, we are focused on what on on fighting mission, the opponents. Mission twenty twenty one. We are on a three month mission. You exactly. tell me all that. I, time. I love I love the fact that you now know <laughs> that we have three months to oust the dictatorship. Right. Thank you very much, Mr. Hamani. Yeah. Yeah. That. <laughs> you have something i just say? yeah i just want to add that we individuals let's not let's not be directed by maybe bloggers necessarily mm. let's not be directed by politicians mm. let's do what we Ought let's to. yeah let's take our responsibility we encourage even the um the principal today encourage people to work in unity he said what we can do not what i can do or what you can do he said what we can do when we unite so your ten dollars your fifteen dollars once you put it together thousand people that's you know fifteen thousand dollars you know so let's keep working as a team anything that becomes divisive in the team kindly keep kick that person out. You never know their intentions. Anyone who's trying to split you up, that person is not is not meaning well for this movement, mm. just like the principal quoted today. Most importantly, judge people by their actions, not words. Words are important because that's the only it's not the only you can write. Uh, you can sing. You Still can, there once. Okay, right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Because you are but, speaker. Yeah. <laughs> because you are public speaker. But no, I think I think that uh, you know we can all say many things. I can you know I can go on and speak and speak and speak. Mm. But if I can't mobilize a hundred people in a room, if I can't mobilize ten people, if I can't put ten people together to focus on a specific task. I think all my words might not necessarily what um, I yield yeah. results, right? There are very many brilliant like quotes and whatever that we can give. There's very many things that we can talk about. But I, I think that I believe that we as the diaspora can do more than speaking. We can do more than speaking. We can fundraise for this. We can speak about this. We are going to make a change in Uganda come 2021. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Haman. You're welcome, brother.